What's going on JC's channel? This is your boy Sal and before I get into this video I want to give a special thanks to 2J's Kicks for putting me on here and like I was saying my name is Sal I have a YouTube channel called Sal Souls and I do things such as reviews, sneaker games, and vlogs and I go to sneaker cons from time to time and I'm actually not going to be doing a review on my Tyrant sneaker collection I love it. I love it so much I'm going to be doing a review on the Fug It brand Fug It is a sneaker brand that's trying to bring awareness into the sneaker community about sneaker violence. So we all love sneakers, we all love clothing, we all love fashion, but sometimes people lose their minds and think it's okay to take somebody's life over sneakers, which is never okay, guys. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you each shoe individually. The first couple of shoes are going to have cars with them, the second half isn't. The second half is for people that wants to have their favorite shoes and native material for nostalgic reasons. First up is the Air Jordan 1 Black Toe. The Black Toe story is about a kid named Michael Egan, which took his AU basketball teammate into the woods and hung him by a tree and took his black toes off of his feet. The Yeezy 2 Solars. The Yeezy 2 Solar story is about Jose Mendoza, who actually had these shoes and was trying to sell them on the internet. A kid told him to meet him up at a barbershop, and when he got there, him and the kid got into an altercation and it killed. The kid actually took Jose Mendoza's life. The Nike Air Mag. This shoe is, if you don't know, is one of the most sought after shoes in the sneaker community. So if you actually don't have the money to spend on that shoe, you can get these for a secondary, man. These things are clean and they're very noticed. When I went to SneakerCon, everybody's seen these. One of my favorite shoes that they sent me was the flu games the flu game 12s when I seen pictures of these I was just like oh yeah they're cool but they're probably not gonna come out how the actual shoe looks but when I got them in hand they're exactly like the flu games man I don't know how he does it but he does it the last shoe I'm gonna show you is about a recent instance that happened before we came into the new year um this is about James Smith and I just actually had these shoes on my feet James Smith was a kid that got the Jim Red 11s for Christmas. His parents bought him Jim Red 11s for Christmas. Um, he put the shoes put the shoes on and he went out to the basketball court to play basketball. And then the police knocked on his mother's door and said that her son was found dead in the alley. Um, when they found when they found him, he had a gunshot wound to his chest and he didn't have any shoes on his feet. So they put two and two together that somebody shot and killed him over his Jim Red 11s. This is what James' shoe actually looks like. They made a silhouette of the Air Jordan 11, but they made a silhouette of the Air Jordan 1 Breads. Um, like I was saying, he actually got murdered over the Jim Reds, but they made this silhouette for him. And for me, this is the best product that, the, the best shoe that they came out with. This looks just like the Jordan 11s, man. If you guys can kind of see the detailing on the shoe, this looks just like just like him and his shoe actually comes with basically a retro card of him that's him on the front wearing the gym red 11s and then on the back it has the whole entire story on what happened so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put all of the shoes on and I'm gonna show you how they look on feet <music> so so much for watching this video I know people don't like the slipper idea but you have to look at the bigger picture in this this man is trying to bring light and trying to end sneaker violence in our community um if you guys don't know funerals are very very expensive so that's why he does the GoFundMe to take less stress off of the family to help them you know basically bury their children um if you want to look into more about silhouettes and what colorways and all the different kind of stuff that's coming out their Instagram is F-U-G-G-I-T if you want to look into the story, the background of this brand and why he got into this, their website is fuggit.us. And for myself, my Instagram is Sal Soul, same as my YouTube channel. Um, you can go to my YouTube channel to see a bigger in-depth review on the company and what's going on. And 
what I want to do is just thank you guys again for watching this video. And, and AJC, man, ask Joni how do those shoes fit that I gave her at SneakerCon. But I'm going to get out of here, you guys. Peace.